Welcome back to the Big Small Business Show. We're talking all things AI and uh, we're talking about deep fake scams uh, and influencers. Uh, I suppose this is our new future where uh, it wouldn't be an email that's sent to you to uh, ask you to go and deposit some uh, things and buy a voucher for your boss anymore. It's going to be your boss calling you uh, on the phone with uh, his or her voice and uh, asking you to go and get something. Meantime, it's not them. And, and uh, yeah, a whole new world of scamming out there. 100%. I've actually got a clip to show you of how hyper-realistic these scams, uh, or not scams, but these deep fakes have become. Uh, this one is of Anderson Cooper. Yeah. And it just shows exactly how insane it is. Anderson Cooper from CNN. Yes second youngest son. He's suggesting it came out of nowhere. What we subsequently learned is it may have come from the former president or his legal team acting in bad faith. This is a deep fake example of what is possible with powerful computer and editing. It took around 72 hours to create this example from scratch using extremely powerful GPU. It could be improved with more computing time, but 90% of people cannot tell the difference. Sure. What do you think of that? Yeah, it's uh, unbelievable. And I've seen things like that where they can switch language. Yes, <laughs> yes. Could start to, you could, Anderson Cooper could start speaking French and his lips would move uh, as he speaks French as if he were speaking French. Yes, the software does exist. And you mentioned uh, in introducing this, this segment how it could be a phone call. It won't just be phone calls. It could be a, a FaceTime from your boss and you could be looking at his face and uh, thinking that maybe his lips are moving a bit funny, but it could just be the signal, and he's asking you to, to deposit some cash. Now, now, you spoke about that being 72 hours to produce that. Yes. But could it be live? I mean, could it be me speaking, but you seeing it could instantaneously a different uh, uh, face? Definitely. It could be live. The quality might not be as good as what we just saw, which was like, Top quality. But that's, that's only time before we get there. One hundred percent. It it the process gets sped up faster and faster, and with these chatbots, with the language models, they work so quickly that I could I, I could just be talking on the phone to the scammer, and the chatbot is interpreting everything I say in real time to produce realistic answers for the questions I might have. Where, where do you want me to deposit the cash from? From which ATM? Oh no, go to the one here. So it's, uh, it's highly sophisticated and it's becoming more and more uh, dubious to, to detect um, more and more advanced and intelligent and we have to be ultra careful with where we're trading now. I, I went to a talk the other day around this and you know it's quite a um, old-fashioned uh, way to protect yourself. But if you, if you and your partner, um, business partner, uh, want to protect yourself, they're, they're saying that you should have a password that you know only the two of you use, like a catchphrase that um, would communicate that you're real. I like that. Yeah. I so like that a lot. Quite a, quite a like a old-fashioned manual way of, of trying to and know if somebody's uh, real or not. Hundred, hundred percent. Uh, uh, in the story of Harry Potter, um, to make sure that uh, uh, there wasn't an imposter, uh, one of the professors asks Harry what uh, what animal was in his office when he was uh, his teacher, just to make sure that he knew Harry wasn't a, a clone. And uh, I, I really like this idea. It's oh, great. Yeah. Okay, so we're talking about um, the deep fakes and the scams. Um, we sp what, what other scams are, are you hearing about? Other than there's the, the voice now on the phone. There's, you know, we just heard I opened this, this whole show about that, uh, uh, this big scam in, in Hong Kong with $25 million being transferred with video. Right. Um, there's obviously email. But is there anything else starting to emerge now around uh, scams? One in uh, very insane one comes to mind, which was a burning image of the White House yeah. on fire uh, after what looked like to be some explosion. And uh, that made briefly it made uh, uh, headlines or was trending across social media platforms. And it turned out that it was obviously a deep fake. Um, so 
I could see coups yeah. happening based on deep fake technology. I could see uh, people being able to take over government or like, like what's happened in, in Hong Kong, take over the leadership of a company and, and hijack the company essentially or hijack a country. Uh, it's becoming more and more serious. Yeah. And, and the, you spoke about in, in, the, in the earlier segment, you spoke about the legislature not, not uh, catching up in time. Um, you know, there's a big uh, fear around the fact that it's too late, that, that the AI will effectively evolve itself um, faster than the, the legislature will, will, will be able to follow because we can only follow um, so quickly before we go through all our processes of getting bills, you know, approved through, through parliament, etc. cetera. Um, so is that just like sci-fi chaos that they're just portraying or is it, uh, is it really real? I mean, it's real. I would say that the, the cat's out of the bag and has been out for a long time. Pandora's box was opened a long time ago. Uh, previously, I've, on the show, I've spoken about uh, AGI, mm -hmm. uh, artificial general intelligence. So you could potentially have AI agents that are constantly evolving, constantly changing their nature, changing their name, changing the way they talk or, or are perceived or sound, and uh, will continue to, to do damage or be used for, for good, or be used for good. So good could mean a company could make their own, uh, their own AI agent for, for various tasks. And this is where small business can, can leverage these emerging trends. But to speak about legislature, I'm, I'm no lawyer, mm. but uh, what I can say is in the past, it, even before AI, it always, uh, something bad always happens before a law can be put in place uh, to fix it, right? And uh, we're going to see more and more of that, for sure. Well, that's it uh, for today's uh, show. And while I still have a job as a, a real uh, person, and uh, the code word is uh, 5174 apples, if, if, if next week you see somebody who looks like me and doesn't say that password, you know. It's a deep fake. But uh, until, until then, uh, I might still uh, have a, a job here talking to you about small business. And I hope you've enjoyed today's show. And do remember, if you think it, write it down and make it a reality. <laughs>